I came across a little bit of a life hack recently that I want to show to you guys. If you have a power cord and it continually gets tangled up, you might want to make one of these. All you need is a little bit of shock cord. Um, we do sell this, um, but it's available at any hardware store too. And then a wine cork, which most of you will also have. So to begin, I'm going to drill out a couple holes in the side of this. We're going to use the wine cork as a little bit of a toggle. So I've got a drill here and a little bit of a thing to protect my mat. You just want to make sure that your drill bit is about the same size as your shot cord. A little pretty close to the middle. And make a mess. I'm not gonna blow that all over. All right, so once you've got that drilled out, you can just take a small length of shot cord and put it through. We're just gonna tie a little bit of an overhand knot on the other side. You can do a couple if you don't want it to come undone, or use a a better knot than an overhand knot. And then we want to leave a little bit of a loop and we'll be sticking the other end back through too. Um, if you're making this for a power cord, you want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm actually gonna grab the cord as four and see how long I need it to wrap around the toggle. That's how it's gonna be stored. You wanna do it a little bit tighter than that, uh, but I'll leave some extra slack and cut it right there. We'll put that in through as well. And again, cinch it down to about the length that you need. And tie another knot. You can trim these ends a little bit later. You just want to try it on for size and make sure it works. And it does, so now we can trim our ends. Just leave a little bit of slack because knots in elastic cord or shot cord tend to slide a little bit. Burn our ends to keep the outsides from fraying and it's done. So that's just a really quick way that you guys can organize your cordage. If you don't have a wine cork, there is an alternate way you can do this. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of my cord and I'll just do a pre-cut length about the same length as we had there. And we're going to make what's called a diamond knot. And to make this, you just put it around two fingers. Put one cord straight down, and the other you're going to make a loop. And then you want to fold that loop over so that it sits on top of your hand. And this other cord is going to go around underneath. You go over that cord, under the middle one, and then over the last until you have this cool looking knot right here. You take it off of your fingers. You want to keep track of this bottom loop that was around your fingers. This cord here is going to go counterclockwise past this cord to go up through the middle. Then we're going to do the same thing with this other cord, counterclockwise around those base couple cords and up through the middle. You can just pull both ends to tighten it down. And because it's shot cord, it might not tighten super well on its own. You might just kind of have to feed the cord through in a couple places. And then we can actually adjust the knot so that it's closer to the end depending on what size you want this to wrap around. If it's headphones, this size is going to be a little bit better. I'm going to slide it close to the end for my power cord. There we go. We'll cinch that down a little bit more. Now let's give this diamond knot one a try. This one's going to be a little bit tighter, I think, than our last one, and that's probably good. Cinch it around there, and that knot keeps everything in place. 
So there is two great ways to manage some tangled wires with a little bit of shock cord. You can find this in our store. We'll put a link in the description for you in case you want to buy some. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.